forecast, accurate and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Wednesday to you and Don always sending in some amazing weather eye pictures. He was in Allegheny State Park and was able to capture some of the fall foliage in uh, in the state park. And, you know, this is one of the best things about our region, especially this time of the year, is the fact that we get all these beautiful fall foliage colors as the leaves change as we head uh, closer to winter. And our own Justin Gould was able to capture an amazing sunrise this morning in Randolph this morning. So if you have any pictures or videos of the weather, Hunter WX on Twitter, the First Defense Weather page on Facebook, and use that hashtag, my local WX. The rain chances will come. Look at this, a nice chance of rain tomorrow so it's going to be basically a washout tomorrow so just you know have the umbrella handy through the day temperatures also slide downhill as well it's going to be one of those days where you know you dress for one season in the morning then you got to dress for another season in the afternoon and uh, we will turn drier toward the uh, end of the week and uh, into the weekend only a spotty shower likely uh, on saturday but really the bigger story is going to be the colder air this is the six to ten day temperature outlook from the climate prediction center and again you know and you know it's the same thing we mentioned yesterday when we get into those darker blues and the purples start to indicate basically favoring below average temperatures and i think by next tuesday we could be seeing our first snowflakes of the season now before you start writing in and all that stuff it's not going to accumulate. It's going to mix with rain, but still, this could be our first snowflakes of the season come next Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. We'll give you more timing and details on that as we get closer. But in the short term here, just lots of clouds around for this Wednesday. Now we are going to see rain showers coming our way out ahead of a cold front. So right around, oh, five o'clock, six o'clock or so, we are likely going to see a few rain showers coming on into the uh, southern tier. May see a break, then more rain showers develop after midnight. This is going to be more heavier and steadier rain still dealing with a southerly wind that's out ahead of the front but watch as the front moves its way closer to the region through the day on wednesday the wind or on thursday the wind shift from the south to the west bringing in cooler air behind the front and just widespread rain through the day it will start to taper off later in the day towards the evening hours we will start to dry out for a thursday night going into friday but again we could Hang on to at least an isolated shower on Friday. Rainfall totals, some of this rain tomorrow could be a bit heavy in spots. So we could be looking at about an inch or maybe a little bit more in spots. And again, this is one of the models that tend to overdo the rain totals just by a tad. So I don't think we're going to see close to two inches anywhere, but understand an inch or a little more could be possible over the next 24 to 48 hours. So just be prepared for that some puddle jumping for the kids later on. So the forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy to overcast, heavy rain overnight starts to move in after midnight, 53 to 60 tonight with that south wind, 15 to 30 miles an hour. The ultimate solution seven day. So temperatures fall through the day tomorrow. 59 will be our early morning high. We fall all the way down to likely the mid to lower 40 through the afternoon hours. 54 on Friday, drying out, but the wind will still be up. Saturday, just a small chance for an isolated shower, near 60 again, but then the cold air starts to get reinforced, comes back. Look at Monday, 47, 41 on Tuesday. That is our going to be the potential for some wintry mix later on in the day. We'll keep you updated on that as we get closer.